Hey, Catherine Dexter here at Canada Sports Masseuse. I have decided to do this little video right now, straight after speaking to Katie Wright, who is the founder of the Equestrian Business Awards. Now, I've had a couple of emails go back and forth to Katie, and obviously she's checked me out and my website and my social media and things like that. And also, thank you to my amazing clients who had sent in any... Um, like testimonial type things and um, and also about you know how I work what kind of person I am while I'm working around the horses and things like that and also to thank everybody that comments on um, anything that I put up in regards to my business because also Katie Wright and her team have been checking out comments and replies and things like that so I hope I haven't been swearing too much or too much of myself because it's definitely a professional self and then there's a you know just us as we are you know and I am so proud of my business and um how long it's been going and you know how I've seen it through some tough times how we've got through covid um Obviously, during the interview, we spoke about highlights, um, things like that. And, you know, my main answer, um, there was about five or six different questions. But the main question and the main answer that I wanted to go over was when she asked, what is the pinnacle of your career? Now, I have lots of horses that I have worked with that have literally been at the end of their tether and then have gone on and then competed or gone on to do whatever they needed to do one little horse i spoke of he was at the end of his tether came to me for like three or four days the owner came to see him the owner thought i doped him because he was so manageable and so calm and you know happy little horse again could be turned away wanted to be caught didn't mind the head collar going on and off in the stable and things like that and then after a few months, I get pictures of him jumping for the European team, but in England. And it's things like that could be a highlight because that pony was probably hours away from closed doors because he, he literally had to be corralled to the back of the stable to even be caught, to be brought to mind. Again, that's through working with people like Guido that would say, this is a bit beyond us here now for behaviour training. This horse may be in pain, go and see Catherine, you know, that kind of thing. So I could have picked on lots of different stories like that. But what I said, and this is the reason for the video, is to say thank you to every single person that has ever let me work on your horse. Because it means so much to me that I can come and see you and your horse. I can see a process I can see a plan, I can see what we need to do to get you there, but often you guys don't see that. You guys don't even know what's wrong and that's why you've called me in the first place. So I needed to say thank you to everybody that has believed in me, believed in what I do as a masseuse, but also bringing in the mindful touch, the way I work, that even sometimes I don't understand how I know things, I just know. Um, something that a very good friend, uh, Keith Goodwin, is helping me establish now is how I do what I do sometimes. People often say, oh God, you have such a good eye, or I just pick up on things and it's like, how did you know that? And you know, things like this. Um, I know it's called the mindful touch. I can't really teach other people to do it yet, but hopefully soon um, I will be able to. But thank you, every single person that has commented or liked or anything on my Facebook page, or if you've shared my website, or if you've just entrusted me with your horse or your pony, it is an absolute honour to work daily with other people's horses. No two ways about it. Every day, every new horse I meet is the pinnacle of my career, if that makes sense. It probably was totally the wrong answer. A bit like when she said, can you do a bio? Well, you're everybody. There's been thousands of people. How Katie has worked for everybody, I've got no idea thousands of people and she's asked people to do like a 500 word bio my bio wasn't a bio at all it was literally talking about one horse and how that one horse has kind of led me down the path that i am on now today you know so i don't seem to do anything by the book um and i guess that's another thing with the mindful touch as well you know we um we just deal with what's in front of us and that's all we can deal with and you know we just find our own ways in life which is wonderful so 
Um, we spoke about many things. We spoke about holistic care. We spoke about welfare. Um, we spoke about continued development. Um, can, we spoke about what I else I would like to bring to the table, um, that kind of thing. And what I will do is I'm going to save this video now until the um, award ceremony because obviously I other people who haven't had their interviews oh no that's what I should do I should wait until everybody else has had their interviews and then I can share it because I can't otherwise people, she might ask everybody the same questions I don't know <laughs> so uh, I will um, I will share this when everybody else has had their interviews but thank you everybody thank you to all the horses that teach me something new on every horse that I meet literally learn something new every day um, and yes thank you to all my customers and clients and friends that have supported back in the saddle and myself for the past 17 plus years um, and thank you to all the horses that I've ever met before that have you know put me on this path like fight for love, like Dusty Answer, and um, you know, horses like that that changed my life basically. So, yes, onwards, the interview is done. I'm gonna go and finish building the chicken coop now. And I hope you all have a lovely Saturday. And um, cheers, guys! Bye bye.